Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to find your perfect settings in Delta Force Mobile. You might be struggling to find the settings like gyroscope aiming, leaning, and even your sensitivity. I will show you how to find and change these settings. Let's start from the first one. This is the aim assist. The left is on and right is off. I think we already know what aim assist is. I don't know what is beside the aim assist, so let's just leave that. Below the aim assist are ADS when firing. This is when you press the shoot button, you will automatically aim down your sights. As you can see I'm firing but not ADS. Now I will enable it. You notice there are two settings. The left one is for the extraction mode and the right one is for the Havoc Warfare mode. The toggle below is for instant firing mode. It will fire your weapon during the ADS animation instead of after the animation. Next is the field of view. I think we already know what FOV is. This is your ADS settings. It allows you to change your ADS control. You can change it to tap, hold, or mix to both. This is tap to ADS. And this is hold to ADS. Mixed is a combination of both. When you tap, it acts like the tap settings, and if you hold, it will be the same as hold setting. This settings are reload cancel. There are three settings, disable, Reload Cancel and Fire Reload Cancel. Disable means no reload cancel. As you can see I am pressing my fire and reload button, but it does not cancel. Reload Cancel means you press the reload button to cancel reloading. As you can see I am canceling my reload by pressing the reload button. The next is Fire Reload Cancel, but instead of only the Reload button to cancel, you can also press the Shoot button to cancel. In the next tab is the peaking settings. It allows you to lean in corners. Left is enable and right is disable. The toggle below is auto ADS when leaning. It allows you to ADS automatically when you lean. The settings on the right is the leaning settings. You can tap, hold, or mix to both to lean. The next is my favorite settings, the gyroscope. There are three settings, enable, Disable and ADS only. This is gyroscope disabled. And this is gyroscope enabled.
Next is ADS only. The gyroscope only works when you ADS. The settings below are reverse, horizontal, and vertical. I do not use these settings, so let's just skip these. The next settings are the control settings. If you notice, there are two above. One is for extraction mode, and the other one is for havoc warfare mode. This is my controls. Feel free to copy. I will also put the control code in the description. Next setting is the sensitivity settings. There are also two tabs. One is for touch sensitivity and the other one is for gyroscope sensitivity. Left is touch and right is gyroscope. The settings above are aim acceleration and sensitivity multiplier. I do not use these so let's just leave it. Also feel free to pause and copy my sensitivity. The next settings are communication settings. Since I don't understand Chinese, I just skip these settings. This is the graphics and audio settings. There are two tabs above. The left is graphics and the right is audio. The graphic settings are as follows, low, medium, high, ultra, extreme, and HDR. Then below is the FPS settings, low, medium, high, ultra, extreme, 90 FPS, 120 FPS, and 144 FPS. When I change my settings, my FPS also changes. It doesn't allow me to use ultra graphics with 60 frames per second. So I'll stick with low graphics with 60 frames per second. Below is the graphic style settings. You can select the filter effect of the graphics. Some of these settings are only for higher graphics. Since I'm using low graphics, I cannot change some settings. Next is the audio settings. I didn't change any audio settings, so I'll just skip this. This settings are for vehicle controls. Again, since I didn't change any of these, I'll just skip it. So that was the settings that I used in Delta Force Mobile. You can use this as basis to create your perfect settings. That is all I have for you in this video. If you could, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Also comment down below any issue you might have with the game, and I'll try to address it.